Okay, here's uh, uh, part two of the uh, throttle or the uh, idle circuit that uh, we're going to fix in uh, Roger Rose's uh, carburetor here. So what I'm going to show you is in the front of the carburetor are the idle mixture screws. Okay, right down here. And that's what you adjust to rich or lean the idle mixture. But there's a fixed circuit in the carburetor and there's no adjustment to it. And if you look right down inside the the carburetor, there's a passage here, and there's one right here. This is this is only two components of the idle circuit. There's several components to the carburetor's idle circuit, and all those things have to work together. There's a component in the air top or the top that comes off the carburetor. Uh, there's also some passages down inside by the uh, throttle plates. So all that stuff determines how much fuel and air get into the carburetor in idle, and if it's not if the idle mixture is not right, then what will happen is you get an unstable idle and the car won't run right. It'll, it'll stumble, uh, it's hard to start, it, it won't idle in gear. It, it causes a lot of issues that guys have. And many guys think that it's because it's too rich, and it is not because it's too rich, it's because it's too lean. So anyhow, what we do is, Brandon, bring that over here and we see that. We use a um, uh, twist drill. Now we've already measured the uh, hole in here and we know what it was from the factory and what we did is we determined how much bigger we're going to make it and we're going to we drilled it out so you have to have a long drill bit these are special drill bits that i buy to have to do this carburetor work so now what we're going to do is brandon's going to get this thing all put back together uh, we'll fire it back up and we'll let you uh, see what the uh, idle circuit uh, modifications done and how the engine stabilizes after we get it set properly. Stay tuned again.